What's up, world? It's your boy Ross Mac of Maconomics, and yeah, let's talk about it. Over this past year, there was a lot of talk about SPACs and IPOs. In fact, there were 313 SPACs and 407 IPOs. SPACs stand for Special Purpose Acquisition Companies. Now, a SPAC is a shell company set up by investors with the sole purpose of raising money through an IPO to eventually acquire another company. So a SPAC has no commercial operations. It makes no products and it doesn't sell anything. In fact, the SPAC's only asset is typically the money raised in its own IPO. That's because when a SPAC does raise money, the people buying into the IPO don't know what the eventual target acquisition company will be. That's why a SPAC is often called a blank check company. Now SPACs are different from traditional IPOs. An IPO stands for Initial Public Offering. So a private company planning to go public, AKA IPO, they have to prepare for an increase in public scrutiny. It also has to file a ton of paperwork and financial disclosures to meet the requirements of the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, which oversees public companies. That's why a private company that plans to go public hires an underwriter, usually an investment bank, to consult on the IPO and help it set an initial price for its stock offering. Underwriters help management prepare for an IPO, creating key documents for investors and scheduling meetings with potential investors called roadshows. In this process, retail investors have the ability to purchase shares via the stock market. In a SPAC, you're buying into a blank check company and you're relying on a team to buy a company that allows you to get a return on your capital. But in an IPO, you have the ability to do your own due diligence and see all the company's financial disclosures. The key difference between an IPO and a SPAC is that in an IPO, you're buying into a company that is going from privately owned to publicly owned. But in a SPAC, you're buying into a company that is planning to buy a privately owned company eventually.